Hey, it's Jolene from Ride the Wind e-bikes in Sutton. And this is the brand new 2020 Emo Cayman. It comes only in lead acid. It's an 84 volt and it comes in either a 20 amp hour or a 30 amp hour. The 84 20 amp hour is $3,099 and the 30 amp hour is $34.99. So that's plus freight and PDI. And um, they're a nice bike. Um, I've got the Knight right here. I'll do a side-by-side -side, um, in a second. Uh, but actually, let's do that. So essentially, these are the same size bikes. Um, the Knight comes in a 12 inch tire and the Cayman comes in a 14. The seating height is slightly different, but basically you just kind of get more um, style. I, I would say that the performance, like the, the ride on the Cayman is better, but I'm having trouble kind of describing exactly <laughs> like technically why. Obviously the tires have a little bit to do with it, but it's just, um, um, I, I can't even describe it. If you, and that's why you come into the dealership or this shop or whatever this is, and you, you test drive them because I might feel something that you feel different. And also you have to justify the price difference. Like you're looking at, uh, what's the night? 24 99, 27 99 for a 32 amp hour. So you kind of got to ride them and see if you feel like the difference is there because they both have the radio. Um, they both have the led lights. Um, they've got the adjustable handle, uh, sorry, the brake. Okay. So I'm back. Here is the black Cayman. Uh, you obviously can't tell what, uh, amp hour batteries are in them, but, uh, there is a weight difference. I don't have exactly, but when you move the 30 amp hour, uh, if I had to guess, I would say probably, I would say 50 more pounds um with the 30 amp hour so the question is um why which is which one's better well the 30 amp hour is going to give you more distance uh, it doesn't actually give the ratings online of both of them they rate the 20 amp hour i think 65 kilometers per charge so in 30 amp hour it should give you i would say about 75 to 80 kilometers per charge again that's based on 175 pound person no braking no hills uh I quite like the red better, but anyways. Um, so the back to the night, yeah. So the night is uh, turbo is a 32. There's my door, 32 amp hour. It's 2650. Um, you'd basically have to sit on these bikes. Um, there's just a little bit more kind of girth to them. Anyways, um, girth. It's even like, you know what I mean? Like it's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the tank's wider, um, the back seat's a little higher, but the, the seat itself is just a little bit lower. Um, so I was saying about the, the removable batteries, it, it doesn't make a difference. Here, I'll show you. Here's the gauge. I actually really like the gauge. I think that's going to be coming in on all of the new Emos. So use the key. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Um, there's your batteries. I'm not too sure what the point of the access here is because unless it's lithium battery that you could slide out, it really doesn't matter because to change the batteries on this, you'd have to take the whole thing apart anyways. You know what I mean? So question is why don't they have this in lithium? That's what I would like to know. Well, because there isn't, uh, that I've seen it's coming, coming down the line, but there's no 84 volt lithiums yet. So maybe next year. And uh, like typical emo, it's super well appointed. I love the, the quality of all of their components. You've got your three speed, um, uh, like your three speeds, low, medium and high. How fast does this bike go? Everybody asks. You're going to get about 60 kilometers an hour out of an 84 and you're going to get about 50, 55 out of 72. And that's what voltage gives you is it does give you like, it does affect the range, but it gives you more speed. Um, oh, they say it's a 500 watt motor, right? We'll see. 
Anyways, let me know if you have any specific questions. I feel like I didn't give any exact information like, you know, LED lights. I don't know. It's a, it's just, uh, it's a sweet looking ride and, uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I look like on it just so you get a, an idea of, uh, size. Okay, so I am 5'2", and there's where it comes up to. This is, we'll close that one. So this bike fits me perfectly. Um, taller guys can ride this bike absolutely. It's got the leg room on it, let me just show you here. So when I put my knee up, you still have some more space, but could you put like a six foot, six foot four guy on here? Uh, no, I really do think that they should look at like the full size, but you sit up straighter on this bike than you would like on a Zone or a Leo. And um, yeah, also along like this, there's storage underneath. You've got your radio, um, which is Bluetooth. Most of Emos is coming up with that. But this is where you, no, you don't charge the bike here. The hell you charge the bike? You've got a light in there though, and you can charge your phone. Where does this bike charge? Right there. <laughs> See how we find that? Um, the breaker is underneath the seat. You open it here. There, there's your breaker. Alarm system, of course, comes with this bike and every other emo bike. There, that snaps. Um, and now, uh, let me roll the night right beside it. Like a slight seat difference, like I said, one to two inches. That was a pretty good estimate there. <sighs> yeah, like I said, you gotta you gotta come and test drive and go because you can do that here. That's why you buy from Ride the Wind. You can test drive your bikes. Thanks for watching. <laughs>